do want to show the app in person. I downloaded it myself, so it doesn't work for Tucson, but I'm still able to um, load it up for uh, Cochabamba. And as you can see, you know, this all looks pretty typical to us for, you know, what we're used to, but this was completely unavailable to these worlds. And, you know, available in multiple languages, um, in local languages, it has an ability to uh, link into the Trufi community uh, through, through Facebook. But really, this is the meat and potatoes of it. Um, all of these routes had to be, uh, you know, manually digitized, processed, um, uploaded, the data scrubbed, uh, and loaded in to, um, to this application that's built in Flutter. And as you can see, there are a lot of, of routes. And, um, Again, this is all very informal transport routes. You know, they could be uh, micro buses. I believe there's even gondolas um, that I thought was uh, pretty interesting and cool. Um, beyond that, if you wanted to, you can set uh, a home location. Um, you and then. Uh, if, if you needed, you could set work destinations. It has uh, popular recent destinations. But right now, if you were to set a destination, maybe like the airport, then generates a route and based on that informal transportation network. And uh, multiple options, you can click between them. Um, you can load up all of the individual route information for how to get there. All of the services that we take for granted, but this was completely unavailable for the developing world. And let's look at what uh, the trillion dollar company, Google, um, would be able to provide for this region. So setting up roughly equivalent locations can't find a way there. Can't find a way there. Can't find a way there.